Hello and welcome back to Sprite Guard Play Starseed Pilgrim. I went and got us a whole lot of seeds, 56, so we are going to head into a level that I cannot remember what it's about, what happens in this one, what kinds of challenges we're going to face. Let's just YOLO it. Okay, so we can only see one ahead, and we are starting with an explodey one. And then the next one we have is some ice. Now is this... Okay, so this is not the crazy ice one. So there would be many better places for, that we could have used that. But we're not too worried about it. We're not going to be thinking too much about economy. Uh, the, main, the main issue that we're going to have is things like this. We don't know what's coming up. We don't know what to expect. We can't plan ahead at all. And so we're going to have to dig up these... Uh, quite a bit before. Ah, this is the one where we dig them all at once. So that is going to... Ah, and we can run into problems like that where we have no useful place to put that. And uh, this jump pad probably won't end up doing very much good for us just because the darkness is very close at our heels and we're not going to be able to linger around for anywhere near long enough to make that uh, very useful. So we can do some kind of proactive strategy. We can uh, we can do things like placing the pink one more than three blocks away from the end so that if we get a red one uh, we can use it. But it looks like we're going to get an ice one and then another orange one. And uh, we don't even have to worry about getting walled here because we can just do that. Now, connecting up with that was not my intention, and we're in a little bit of trouble because of that. So, I'm just going to have to find my way through here and uh, figure out where to launch from. And it looks like, okay, we're going to probably lose these. And then we have another one of these. I'm just going to dig down there, and that is not going to last anywhere long enough for us to use it. So this is going to kind of be our last ditch effort. There we go. So now we can jump onto this random one, and it is taking us someplace very far away, which is pretty useful. We have to cover up that fruit because actually there was probably a way of avoiding that. Probably should not have done that, but we still have plenty, plenty of seeds. And uh, it looks like we have a little bit of a tight kind of area to navigate. Looks like it's going to be a little bit difficult getting around this uh, star block. And so we need to figure out, I think that's the best place to put it. And we don't need to worry about being able to reach, ah, I made a mistake. But we don't need to be uh, worried about being able to reach the top of this, which is something that will take a lot of getting used to. So we have to pray that the next one is not slime, and it's not. That's very good. Uh, because the the jump pads get corrupted by the slime, and so we would have had nowhere to plant the slime. Uh, let's see. We don't want that. We want that. Uh, so we are on our way to a third key. That is really encouraging. And I'm going to put that there. That'll give us some nice downward space to build into. And let's see, if I dig that out, that will give us kind of a way to continue off to the right. We'll have a little bit more control over when we connect up with this uh, key. And we don't have to stand on top of that. That is going to take so much getting used to. We can put some... Oh! Wow. That's an unfortunate way for that to end. Have we kept any... we have kept no seeds whatsoever. So, here's one thing that I was thinking about, that I was kind of thinking, well, you know, I always do my farming off-camera because I think that it would be boring, but then I think about the kinds of stuff that I like to watch, and I often say I like boring things. And uh, I really enjoy watching some of the kind of more 
uneventful stuff in games. And so I think what we're going to do, since we have quite a lot of time left, is we are going to head back over this way and we are going to do some farming. And so, you know, if, if all you want to see is progress, then, you know, here you can pretty much say, all right, stop the, stop the video, you're done. You know, we're not going to finish a level today. All we're going to do is some really serious farming. Because I really enjoy it, and it really helps out with clearing levels. I am not anywhere near being able to clear levels without doing this. I don't know if it's possible. It's one of those things that I kind of, I wonder about. You know, I wonder, is it possible to get that good at Starseed Pilgrim? Now that's not ideal because it's going to cover up some of our fruits, but I do want the kind of the forward movement here. And I want that to grow in so that I can put the ice uh, on this block, and that will create a barrier. It won't be a very thick barrier, but it will create a complete barrier, which is the main thing that I want there. It's difficult to um, place... Oh dear, that was a mistake. Well, we can dig these out and fill them in with that, and uh, hopefully that will get us up to where we need to be. But it's going to grow so slowly, I'm a little bit worried that those pinks will get away from us. And I'm not completely confident that that's actually going to get us the height we need. It didn't. Oh, it did. Wonderful. And just barely missed uh, being able to get that. We'll pour that over the side and then start growing this up. And hopefully we will be able to jump up to it from this. But the, uh, the purple does not grow very much faster than the pink. And the pink is just escaping from us. And so, we're going to have to just uh, do a couple more of those, make ourselves a place for that, and now we have a jump pad. And as long as that doesn't get corrupted, we can get up here, and this will actually let us get on top of it. And now, I think we're just going to ride for a little while. Actually, no, because we have another pink one coming up, and no great place to plant it. And uh, the, the darkness is just going to keep coming up on us. Uh, this red one will uh, be doing something useful very, very far in the future. And then, let's see, we have a couple of green ones, a blue one, and a pink one. So we want to use the blue one and the pink one together. So we'll put those there. And then we'll use that one just down below as part of our farming. Not great, not terrible. And then we can actually put that there. And that will grow up. And now we want to harvest these because those are getting pretty close. And we want to harvest as many of them as we can. And so I want to kind of wait a little bit here. Just sit on top of it, because we're on a purple block, and so that's going to slow the darkness down quite a bit. But we want to have enough headway that we can uh, get back over here and kind of start building our progress. That was very disappointing. And we have basically nothing gained here, because we want to plant this red one over here. So that was really unfortunate, but it looks like we're going to get a pretty good sequence right here. We're going to get this red and then this orange, and that is, those two go together quite well. We actually have some slime that we can be very cheeky over here and fill that in, and I was too cheeky. And now we are stuck. Uh, we can use the ice to get a little bit of height. And then, that was very tight. That was probably not very smart. So now, we want to start that growing, and then the purple one next to it. We actually want to give this one a little bit of a head start, so that the 
purple one does not overwhelm it. And we can actually build a seed ladder here. And then we can uh, dig down here a little bit. Put that, and what that will do is that will create a barrier. And then uh, we can actually use this jump pad to connect up. And uh, we'll have one more green one to plant that will give us lots and lots of goodies, hopefully. So I'm now scanning for what is going to be the best place to plant that green one. And I think it's going to be in the middle of that slime, which means that we'll want to destroy the seed tower a little bit sooner than we would like. But uh, we're going to have very little time to do anything. Hopefully that will grow up. All right, branching out a little bit, we are crushed and we are uh, dropping into the void a little bit sooner than I wanted, but we actually have quite a few seeds in our stockpile. And uh, it looks like we did get quite a few from here. I'm trying to see, is there a way for us to get both of those? Well, we can get one of them. The other one is not worth getting because we would have to use a bubble. It would just be one for one, not worth it. If we can get two for one, that's something that I always look for. But when it's one for one like that, it's, it's just not worth it at all because the best thing that can happen is you get zero gain. And the worst thing that can happen is you miss with the bubble and end up losing an extra seed. So then, right away, we're going to head straight back into this level and start farming some more. And uh, the earlier you press down, the fewer seeds, I think, the fewer seeds you will lose in the transition. Um, I'm not completely confident about that, but that is something that I noticed. And I tried to pay attention to the numbers. It really seemed like that's what was happening, is... It would show a number under you, and then it would make the three appear above your head. And as it did that, the number below you would count downwards. Let's see, this is a great opportunity to fill in this orange. But we do want to get up here and make sure that we get this in time. And, and so the, the number below you counts down. Uh, one time I managed to kind of see what the number was and then press down. And my memory is that the number did, did actually reflect the fact that I had pressed down earlier. And so it was the number that it had said uh, before the seeds appeared over my head. Now these purple ones can only grow up, so I made a bit of a mistake here. But we can still, we can start building a base. It just won't be as far to the right as I want it to be. This red one is pretty poorly timed. I don't think we're going to have a use for it. And so I'm going to put it there. We will just dig it up. Do want to make sure that that doesn't overwhelm it. That's fine. Don't have a great place for this ice. Um, I think we actually want to dig this up and plant it there. That actually put us way too low, which may have been a mistake. Now we can, let's see, we can plant that there and that there, and that'll be our base of operations. Uh, this ice, we don't have a great place for it. We don't really want it to convert the, the purple because the purple corrupts more slowly. The ice, however, actually does have the advantage that it doesn't com corrupt completely. And so it'll get, it'll make the darkness get to us a little bit faster, but we will be able to move out ahead of it. And we will be able to plant. And so that was, that was a consideration. Ended up not actually mattering that much, but it's something that I think was the right decision. And here we just, we have not really any choice. Great combination coming up here, the orange followed by the red. The only thing that we want to be concerned about is whether or not we're going to connect up with this key too early. We have one more green one coming up that we might possibly use. I also want to be careful that I don't crush that key. We might actually accidentally do that, yes. So that was a mistake, but 
we can use this ice tunnel down this way and uh, that will connect up and that'll get us our key and now uh, we just want to plant this green one in kind of some place that we hope will let it really blossom give us lots and lots of fruits that's not very many we'll grab that just to get our investment back and we're gonna stand here so that we have kind of the best opportunity to grab this one it's a little high up probably not too high up but better safe than sorry this is an opportunity to be guaranteed to get that heart because we'll just drop straight through it and there we go so one of the things that farming involves is a lot more waiting. There are a lot more situations where you just have to wait for stuff. And I think that that has made this a little bit of a longer episode, though these were some pretty brisk farming expeditions. We did not... We did not linger for very long. And uh, we didn't... Sometimes I'll get, like, way out ahead of the darkness, and then I will find the key I want to connect up with and get a purple one out and I'll just ride a, uh, a tower of pink as high as I can take it and then dig it all up to get lots of seeds. So uh, to farm up for that level, uh, for the few remaining levels, I think that I want actually quite a lot more, but I want to wrap this episode up here. We're getting kind of past where I like to because I'm, I'm very lazy about the, the whole editing process, and uh, my weekends have become pretty busy lately. But uh, in the next episode, we will have a great big stockpile, and we will be heading into... I don't know if it'll be the same level or a different one, but one of the levels that we still have ahead of us, there's uh, fewer and fewer all the time but we will be going into it as fully equipped as possible. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.